Did you know that if you enable the extra curve objects add-on and select an object in the shape of a basket, now press Shift plus A to add a curve, select knots, then Celtic links, you can create a woven basket. Now, did you know that if you select all the lights in your scene, you can press Shift plus T to aim all the lights at the 3D cursor? Now, did you know that in edit mode, if you duplicate a set of faces and separate them, then you select the new object in edit mode, add a skin modifier and press A. Then press Ctrl plus it to scale it down. You can also add loop cuts to create a handrail. Now, did you know that if you add a ground plane and go to Object Properties under Visibility, you can make it a shadow catcher to create shadows without rendering the background? Now, did you know that if you have a cloth simulation, in Edit Mode press K to use the knife tool, cut the cloth and press V to rip vertices, go back in Object Mode, play the simulation and your cloth tears? Now, did you know that if you import an image as a plane, then subdivide it, go into the Modifiers tab, add a Shrink Wrap modifier. You can set an object as the target and adjust the offset to create a sticker. Now, did you know that in Edit Mode, you can transform an object without distorting its UVs, select Options, and turn on Correct Face Attributes or press G three times when transforming the object. Now, did you know that in Edit Mode you can press Y and G to split a face in Blender? Now. Did you know that if you go to an object's data properties and add to shape keys with the second shape key selected, go into edit mode and deform the object. Then in object mode, you can use the value slider of the second shape key to blend between the two shapes. Now, did you know that if you select an object and press G and B then select a corner piece, you can automatically snap it to the closest object's edges. Now, did you know that you can make an object follow any curved surface in Blender? In edit mode, move the object up and align its center of origin to its base. Now turn on snapping. Set it as face project. Enable align rotation to target and enable move and rotate. Now press G2. Grab your object and it would follow the curved surface. Now, did you know that in Blender, you can make your models pop without even adding materials? Just head over to the viewport shading settings and turn on cavity instantly. Edges and creases come to life with subtle shadow and depth. Great for previewing your model's form while you work. Now, did you know that if you add a curve in edit mode, you can go to data, bevel, and increase the depth. Now delete the curve and select the draw tool, select surface for the method of projecting. Then you can draw a pipe on a curved surface. Now, did you know that in edit mode you can press A to select everything and alternate plus J to convert a triangulated mesh to quads? Now, did you know that in edit mode you can press A to select everything in Shift plus Alt plus S to convert an object to a sphere. Now, did you know that in edit mode, if you scale the two sides of a curve, you can add an ray modifier to a cuboid, followed by a curve modifier. Select the curve as the curve object. Then move the cuboid, and you have created a treadmill. Now, did you know that you can precisely position objects by placing the 3D cursor anywhere in your scene? Then select an object, press Shift plus S and select, selection to cursor. Now select an object in edit mode. You can select any face, edge or vertex, and press shift plus S. Select cursor to selected, then select an object and repeat the action this time selected to cursor and it aligns perfectly. Now, did you know that you can join to pipes at 90 degrees? Select both pipes and press control J to join them. Now, in edit mode, select both faces and press control E to bridge edge loops. Increase the number of cuts and adjust the smoothness. Now, did you know that in Sculpt mode you can use the Pose tool to manipulate your character's pose without rigging the model? Now, did you know that in Edit mode you can create steps by beveling an edge of a cube under the Bevel properties, change the profile type to Custom, and Presets, select Steps, and increase the number of segments? Now, did you know that in Edit mode, if you select this icon and turn on measurements, you can actually see real-time measurements while modeling. Now, did you know that if you select the camera and go into Constraints, Add Object Constraint, select Track to Constraint, and add an object as its target, the camera would always point at the location of that object. Now, did you know that you can make a text follow any curve in Blender, add a curve, and under the Text Subject Data Properties, go to Font, select Transform and in Text on Curve, add the curve, and your text would follow the curved path. Now, did you know that if you select multiple objects and try to adjust their values, 
It would only affect the first selected object, but if you press alternate when left clicking on the values, it would change the value of the several objects. Now, did you know that in Blender, you can instantly isolate any object by just pressing the forward slash key. It hides everything else so you can focus, tweak, and model without distractions. Now, 